Hey guys and welcome back to new video on this channel. I am Sabi from Code Revolution. So let me show you how to scrape Shopify products and import them to your WordPress blog. So this video will be about this. I will be scraping Shopify products and import them to WooCommerce using the Crawlomatic plugin that I created. If you haven't heard of Crawlomatic, it will be linked in this video description. So go ahead guys and check it. And now let me scrape some products from this example WooCommerce site. Uh, sorry, this is a Shopify site, partakefoods.com and I will be importing them to my WooCommerce site. So this Shopify store sells cookies. So let me copy its URL, go to the Crawlomatic settings, web crawl to post settings and paste the URL I copied here in the scraper start seed URL. If you have WooCommerce active and installed on your site, here in the item type drop down, select product because if you have WooCommerce, the product will be listed here, the product item type. This is important, don't forget about this. Now click settings and we will be able to scroll down here and set up some scraping customizations. So in the do not scrape seed URL checkbox, I want to check this because I don't want to scrape content of this URL, only links that it contains. So if you check the do not scrape seed URL checkbox, then the seed URL will not be scraped, only crawled for links. Now we can set up the seed page crawling query type. So this defines from where exactly from the page we wish to extract the products. So to get this, click inspect on any product from the listing page from where you watch to scrape products. And uh, now we will be needing to get classes or IDs of the matches here on the page, which will return also the link that we wish to scrape. So for this, after you inspect, hover your mouse over here and select the nearest class that you find. So this is an HTML class that you see here and hover to the top and this is the class that we are looking for which encapsulates also the link. As you can see, this is the link and it encapsulates also the link. So let's copy this class and select seed page crawling type as class and query string we should paste the class that we copied here so we pasted the class here also if this is not working for you or you feel that it is too complicated you can also use a visual selector so simply use a visual selector and select the product you wish to scrape by highlighting it and clicking on it but now let's stick to our class that we set up and also now we will be needing to tell the plugin from where to extract stuff from the page. So in the content scraping customizations menu, we will be needing to set up the content query type. Here you will be able also to use a visual selector to select the stuff that you need from pages or simply go to a product here in Chrome and uh, select the parts of the page that you need and click inspect and here you will see that there are multiple stuff here and if we hover to the top we will see that we can highlight different parts of the pages so select the parts you wish to scrape in this case let's scrape the details accordion so here you will see details ingredients nutritional information so the details accordion if we click inspect on it we will see that it has a class and it is product detail accordion so let's copy this class and select once again class paste if you want to uh, scrape multiple uh, parts of the page you can also do this simply hover on the part you wish to scrape and if we wish to scrape this description for example and hit and, and it has this class rte 
space D. So double click on it, copy this class. And if we already have something here, simply add comma and paste the class that you uh, copied. So in this case, it will be product detail accordion, comma RTE space D. Okay, so now we will also need some other info. For example, let's scrape also categories. The category of the products in this case are displayed here on the top. So inspect on this and we will see that the category has the class subtitle. So copy the class subtitle and in the category query type select class and place the subtitle class here. If we also want to add tags, we can also auto generate tags from title. This will work for us. And also important, if we are scraping WooCommerce products, we wish also to set the price for them. So in this case, let's inspect the price and check if it has some info. And in this case, we find an ID also. So note that you can also find IDs. So let's copy the ID that we found on the price. And instead, clef select here ID and paste the ID which selected from the price of the page. Okay, so now we set up product price, category, featured image, title auto detect, content. Also note that if you wish to scrape categories, be sure to check here on the top the auto created auto add categories from query string so this checkbox needs to be checked if you wish to add categories and also this one if you want to add tags from query strings from the settings below but this will be checked by default in the latest plugin updates okay so now we are set up here let's check products on our site this uh, product already is imported let's trash it and delete it just to be sure that it will not be um, messing with our results so let's delete it permanently okay now we see that there are no products available on our site so we can run scraping and import some products from here so let's run this rule now if you want to run, run this manually and running started and the green check marks appeared so if we refresh our product the crunchy variety pack five boxes reappeared so it has an sku a price category tags and if we click on the product <coughs> we will see that it has details ingredients information and the description that we scraped crunchy cookies category also auto generated tags and if we check the product on the front page it has the price add to cart description reviews and many more stuff and note that if we run this multiple times we will get multiple products to our WooCommerce uh, blog. So if we check products again, cheap cookies, and also we can increase the number of scra scraped products at each scraping like this. And if we run scraping again, more products will be scraped this time. So this is how you will be able to scrape almost any Shopify blog and post the products to your WooCommerce WordPress site. So I will link the Crawlomatic plugin in this video's description and let's refresh the site and here are even more products are scraped with their respective price. And uh, if we will see also categories and tags added to them. So let's check also one more product and details, ingredients, and many more okay so yeah this is all for today go ahead and check the chronomatic plugin it will be linked in this video description i hope this will be useful for you guys to scrape some shopify stores and to get their products 
to your WooCommerce websites. Until next time, please subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video. I will be publishing more tutorial videos like this in the future. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.